Hello. So welcome to today's lesson. So in this lesson, we try to solve some questions in partial differential equation and we'll be solving questions using the D'Alembert formula, which is a formula for solving wave equation with initial conditions. So we are going to solve two questions. So please like the video if it helps you. And please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't. So with the first question, we have this wave equation. Then these are initial conditions. So this here stands for the initial displacement. And this here stands for the initial velocity. So we have to solve this using the D'Alembert formula. So what you have to know is that the D'Alembert formula is given by this particular equation here. Let's name it equation 1. So note that this phi, phi and rho here are just functions. You can use f and g here and it doesn't change the results. Okay. So we know that the general form of a wave equation is utt equals c squared uxx so by comparing that to our question that's utt equals uxx then it means our c squared is equal to 1 so meaning c is equal to 1 so c is equal to 1 here and what this means is that wherever we find x in the initial displacement we have to replace it by s plus ct but here c is 1 so that means you are going to replace it by s plus t and here we replace it by s minus t right so we realize that here instead of the x we get x plus t then 1 minus instead of s we have s plus t and when it comes here we have instead of s we have s minus t then 1 minus s minus t so plus the integral of so know that now we are talking about what we have here so the integral of 1 over 2c but c is 1 so plus 1 over 2 the integral of s minus ct but c is 1 so minus t then 2s plus t then sine pi s ds so s because our rule is a function of x right so now we are left with this to solve so you realize that we can do some simplification with this here and we can also do this integration so when you multiply s plus t by 1 we have s plus t this plus this will give you this this time this sorry this time this this time this will give you this this time this will also give you this then plus so now when it comes to the integration you know integrating sine pi s is going to give us negative cos pi s over pi then the limit of integration is s minus t to s plus t. So simplifying what we have inside, we are going to have ux2 equals 1 over 2. So when you expand whatever we have here, you will get this. Then plus 1 over 2 pi. So we brought this pi outside. Then minus cos pi. So instead of where we find s, we put in the limit of integration. So we have s plus t. Then we are going to get minus minus which gives us plus here so plus cos pi s minus t right then this can be um, when you try to simplify what you have here for instance um this will cancel this then we will have um this cancelling this we are going to have 2x minus 2s squared minus 2t squared plus 1 over 2 pi so we can bring this here we can interchange the position of this so we get cos pi s minus t minus cos pi bracket s plus t then we can further simplify what we have here so by bringing 2 out so we have 1 over 2 here and we have times 2 here so that this now becomes s minus s squared minus t squared so these two cancels these two and finally we are left with this particular here as the answer okay so we can leave it in this form but um 
we can also try to simplify this further use a trick identity on this okay so you see this of the form cost we can multiply the pi through so we get pi x minus pi t then minus cos pi x then plus pi t and this is the same as cos a minus b minus cos a plus b and there is a trick identity for this so that means that we can use that trick identity so let's come here so cos a minus b minus cos a plus b is given as 2 sine a sine b so this here is a trick identity so comparing it to our question you know this is our a and this is our b so that means that this is going to give us sine pi x sine t pi right so we're going to have this here so putting it inside our equation you're going to get what we had here plus 1 over 2 pi then in place of this we are going to get 2 sine pi x sine t pi then these two cancels these two and finally we have u of x t equals s minus s squared minus t squared plus 1 over pi sine pi x sine t pi as the answer to the question we have so this is the solution to the first part of the question or the first question using the d'Alembert formula so let's take a second example so in the second example we have this particular wave equation here and this is the initial displacement and the initial velocity is zero all right so it's zero so that means this calculation is going to be a bit easy all right so we know that the general form of the wave equation is this right so making comparison with the question here it means r c squared is equal to 1 over pi squared meaning r c is equal to 1 over pi so we just have to call the dalamet formula which is given by this all right but since the initial velocity component is zero that means this part goes away one of this part becomes um zero so we are going to be interested only in the this part right so as is equal to one over pi so um we have to start making in substitution so that means wherever we find x we will put x plus one over pi times t so let's come here and make that substitution so that means you're going to have u of x to be equals one over two sin pi so if I find x, we put s plus ct. So the ct is going to give us this as we have here, and plus and pi x minus t over pi. Then proceeding, we are going to have this is equal to one over two. So we can multiply the pi through. Then when we multiply the pi through, we get pi x plus t here and plus pi s minus t here, right? So when you got when you get here, someone can decide to end it here, but there is a trick identity, a very important one, which says that um one over two sine bracket a plus b plus sine bracket a minus b is equal to sine a cos b. So you can see it's of the this form. So it means that our u of x t is equal to sine pi s cos t because we will have um the whole of this be equal to sine a so a is pi x and cos b b is t so cos t so this becomes the final answer as we can see here so thank you very much and i hope you got the understanding all the best